Hello everyone. In this video we're going to be solving an exponential equation. A very nice problem. You may have seen this problem before in this form or a different form. That's a very famous problem. I can't remember exactly which book had this kind of problem. But it's a really nice problem with the 4 and the 6 and the 9 together. So let's go ahead and get started. So we do have 4 to the power 1 over x, 6 to the power 1 over x and 9 to the power 1 over x. So here's what we're going to do. We want to use substitution here and we want to make this equation like turn it into something that we can solve because as is this is like a crazy equation with exponents. The bases are different. It's just all over the place. So here's what we're going to do first. Divide both sides by 9 to the power 1 over x. Now you might be asking at this point like why are we doing this and how would anyone know that right? Well it's going to become clear in a little bit why we are doing this but of course the numbers 4, 6 and 9 are kind of special especially if you think about it 4 times 9 is equal to 36 and that happens to be 6 squared. So if you wanted to set up something like this you could use any three numbers that satisfy this type of property. Okay so once I do the division I can just go ahead and separate them and let's just write it that way okay. I don't want to skip any steps here to explain everything clearly. So then we can just write it like this. And of course we have one on the right hand side. Now notice that in both fractions our exponents are the same. Which means that we can just write them with a common exponent. So in other words using the property a over a to the power n divided by b to the power n as a over b to the power n. Okay, so I can write this as 4 over 9 to the power 1 over x minus 6 over 9 to the power 1 over x. And that equals 1. Great. Now why is this equation better than the first one? Well, you're going to see it a little bit. First of all, notice that 6 ninths can be simplified, right? So 6 ninths you can divide by 3 and write it as two thirds. And hopefully at this point, it should become more clear why we did this. Hopefully you've seen the relationship between the four nines and the two thirds. If you haven't, I'll tell you what it is. Basically we're talking about something like a number and it's square. So in other words, if you square two thirds, you get four nines. Okay? That's what we're going to use. That's basically the essence of the solution. So what am I going to do? I'm going to call this u. So suppose 2 over 3 to the power 1 over x is equal to u. Then this becomes u squared, right? Because 4 ninths is 2 thirds squared. Same exponent, so we just need to square the base. So this becomes u squared minus u is equal to 1. Great. Now. This became a quadratic and look at the difference. We started off with a very crazy exponential equation with the base. Uh, bases are different. Exponent is 1 over x. Just everything was so crazy. But right now it turned into something much nicer which is a quadratic. So let's go ahead and put everything on the same side and solve this quadratic using the quadratic formula. And you're going to be surprised with the result because there's something interesting about one of the solutions. Okay. So let's go ahead and subtract 1 from both sides and get our complete quadratic. Now, let's use the quadratic formula. Quadratic formula tells us that u is equal to negative b. Remember, b is the coefficient of u, so it's a negative 1. Negative b would be positive 1 plus minus. That in indicates that there are two roots. Square root of b squared, in this case it will be a 1, minus 4ac, minus a is 1, so we don't need to worry about it, but c is negative 1, so when you multiply by minus 4 times negative 1, that's going to be a plus sign. Okay, hopefully you see what it is now. 1 plus minus the square root of 5 over 2. Okay, now from here we get two solutions, obviously. Let's go ahead and separate them, and then we're going to back substitute, because u is not what we're trying to find, we're trying to solve for x. So one of the solutions here is going to be u is equal to 1 plus root 5 over 2 and the other solution is going to be 1 minus root 5 over 2. So this equation has two solutions and yes you're right it is the golden ratio. Great okay 
So this is a golden exponential equation. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to back substitute. So what is u? u is equal to 2 thirds to the power 1 over x. So let's go ahead and set them equal to each other. 2 thirds to the power 1 over x is equal to 1 plus root 5 over 2. Great. Now, we do have an exponential equation, but it's much simpler than what we started with, obviously, because we have a single base. So what are we going to do? We can take the logarithm of both sides, and I'm thinking about actually talking about logarithms in another video. Maybe we can do a video on logarithmic equations. If you like the idea, please let me know. Uh, comment. So let's go ahead and uh, log both sides. And, you know, there's a lot of discussion about, okay, is this base 10? Okay, I'm using base 10, okay? That's what I mean by log, not the natural logarithm. All right, if I wanted to use the natural logarithm, I would use ln. So now once you log both sides, you can basically move the 1 over x. 1 over x is going to be here times log 2 thirds is equal to log 1 plus root 5 over 2. And of course, in this case, you could use ln as well for base e, but I just wanted to use base 10. And again, I keep saying it because so that it's not misunderstood. By writing log, I mean log base 10. So let's go ahead and divide both sides by this log thing. So it's going to give us log 1 plus root 5 over 2 divided by log 2 thirds. Of course, we're trying to solve for x here. So let's go ahead and flip both sides. And in other words, let's turn everything upside down. We should be getting log 2 thirds divided by log 1 plus root 5 over 2. Of course, at this point, I could also take I could also take logarithm base 2 thirds then I would just be getting the answer in that base. That's also possible. So there's so many ways to approach this problem, and there's no one right way to do it. And at this point, I'd like to simplify this a little bit. So maybe write it as log 2 minus log 3, kind of split them apart, divided by log 1 plus root 5 minus log. Now, this type of uh, simplifying method is especially helpful if they give you an expression and you have to write that complicated expression in terms of other logs. That's when what we do. We kind of break everything down so that we can, uh, you know, simplify the expression. Okay, so that's one of the roots. And what about the other root? Well, the other solution is 1 minus root 5 over 2. So let's go ahead and set 2 over 3 to the power 1 over x to that number, which is one of the other roots for our quadratic in u. So this is what we get. Now, at this point, you kind of need to pause and think because 1 minus root 5 over 2 is a negative quantity. How do I know that? Because root 5 is obviously greater than 1, and the difference is going to be negative. Divide by 2 is going to be negative. So we, we have 2 thirds, a positive base raised to some power. We don't know what it is. doesn't matter, positive or negative, or a fraction, or irrational. But the idea is that the answer is supposed to be positive all the time. So there are no real solutions that come from here. There are no real solution. Maybe I don't need to write a long sentence here. Maybe just I'm just going to say no real solutions. Don't be upset because I'm not looking into the complex world because we want to keep it real. Okay, so the only solution that I get for this equation is then is going to be coming from the first one, which is this. And that brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.